Excellency, uh, the Ambassador of uh, Japan, uh, Mr. Masahiro Omura, the JAC uh, representative, uh, Mrs. Uh, Yukari Ono, uh, ST representatives of uh, JAC of Fiji office and NDMO members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Nisamuru Binaka, and a very good afternoon. Konnichiwa, Excellency. I take this opportunity to uh, welcome you all at the National Disaster Management Warehouse uh, this afternoon, Excellency. Again, our diplomatic relations date back to the 70s, and Japan has proven to be a, a very good and reliable friend of Fiji, and we have uh, cooperated on so many fronts regionally, uh, on the multilateral fronts and uh, on a number of uh, pressing global issues. Uh, and you have uh, responded timely and generous, uh, generously uh, during our hour of need. We are undoubtedly living in extraordinary times uh, with the dark clouds of COVID-19 hovering over us and uh, which requires us to cooperate and work together. Uh, and the devastation uh, again uh, upon us uh, as a result of uh, TC Herald has uh, stretched our meager resources uh, to the limit and therefore uh, we are grateful for the support of our development partners and the donor community. I truly acknowledge the support provided so far by the government of Japan and JICA throughout the years. Fiji shares a special bond with Japan in the field of disaster risk management and this afternoon as we gather for the handing over of relief supplies uh, worth uh, over 72,000 uh, $295 uh, Fiji, and I would like to express our sincere appreciation uh, to the government of Japan for their kind donation, as this would uh, indeed strengthen government's relief efforts uh, for Fijian communities uh, severely affected by TC Herald. Excellency, I did mention about this close uh, uh, collaboration uh, between Fiji and Japan. Uh, let me uh, again acknowledge. Uh, all the previous assistances. Uh, I know that uh, Japan uh, has been helping us uh, during previous disasters and of course in terms of our capability development as well. We acknowledge the receipt, uh, receipt of um, uh, equipment, uh, heavy equipment that has uh, helped us not only during uh, uh, in our development aspirations but of course most importantly uh, when we are hit uh, with disasters as such. Uh, I recall uh, the meeting that I attended in Geneva way back in 2013, I believe, where I was so convinced uh, with, the, uh, with the presentation uh, uh, in one of the uh, side events organized by JICA and the Japanese government. And uh, for us, uh, for me particularly, uh, that led uh, in influencing the Fiji government to invest in disaster risk reduction. Uh, and uh, Japan, uh, I would say, is, uh, is a leader and a champion in disaster risk reduction. And uh, since then, I've always argued with government that uh, it is not an expense, but it is an investment. And for every dollar that we invest in disaster risk reduction, we save about $7 eventually uh, for government and uh, uh, since then uh, government did provide allocation, did provide allocation, sorry, uh, to the ministry uh, for although it may be small in terms or if we compare to what uh, uh, the level of investment that uh, Japan has given the size of our economy but of course uh, when we look at the returns uh, it has uh, really uh, uh, brought about a lot of benefit to our Fiji and uh, for me, uh, I've always talked about shifting from a culture of reaction to a culture of prevention. And it was through the influence of the Japanese government during that side event uh, that led us uh, into changing policies so that we can also not only look specifically at managing disasters, but investing in risk reduction as well. On that, let me acknowledge uh, again uh, your government's contribution in the formulation of our disaster risk, uh, our risk uh, disaster risk reduction policy, and uh, I'm back in the ministry now, 
and I've uh, uh, highlighted uh, when I was initially interviewed, when I got back into the ministry, this is one of the documents that I would like to again uh, champion uh, in the next few years uh, because we are living in extraordinary times. This uh, catastrophic events are what we call the new norms, but to, uh, for us to minimize uh, the uh, implications, particularly in terms of economic losses and social implications as well, uh, we need to invest heavily into disaster risk reduction. And uh, for that, uh, I again look forward uh, to uh, further uh, discussions uh, and the partnership uh, in the implementation of the uh, disaster risk reduction policy. And I have reminded my good friend, uh, Minister uh, uh, Ono, Terkano, uh, Kono, Kono, when we were both ministers for uh, disasters, before we became ministers for foreign affairs, <laughs> Uh, that we uh, need to again partnership, uh, uh, strengthen the partnership on this. Again, Excellency, uh, thank you for all this assistance. Be assured that this will be pushed immediately to the areas, uh, particularly the uh, areas that uh, uh, were badly affected. And of course, we look forward to providing some feedbacks as well uh, to your office once it uh, reaches uh, the communities, uh, as alluded to by the director. Uh, we have uh, vessels leaving tonight, uh, and of course we have uh, plans uh, for, to roll out further assistance in terms of our um, recovery and long-term rehabilitation. Uh, and of course uh, we will ensure that uh, this does get uh, to the communities uh, uh, without, uh, without delay. So Excellency, uh, again let me conclude by uh, saying that uh, the handover of relief items today again represents another milestone in our bilateral relations and I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Fiji government to express uh, our uh, gratitude uh, on behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister and the people of Fiji. And uh, I'm confident that the relationship between our two countries will continue to grow as we work on deepening our ties. And arigato gomayashita. Thank you, Excellency.